everybody, it's uh, Tim with A4 Outdoors and it's time for some new tires. Um, we have got the life out of these. These are our old Maxxis Carnivores, 32, 10, 14s on the stock wheels. I ended up, this is the first set, but I bought two tires to put on the back since you can't really rotate um, the tires because the wheels are different size in the front and the back. So I ended up buying an extra set of back tires because when we got the machine, I like, anyway, wore the back tires out pretty quick. So <laughs> uh, put some new ones on it. These are slick, ended up 1,800 miles out of the original set, which is actually two sets of backs. So thousand miles per tire, that's not too, too bad per, per set of tires. So corner wars are soft. They don't, they don't like pavement. We ride quite a bit of asphalt getting two trails and from here to there and stuff like that in West Virginia. So anyway, I upgraded. These are the old ones, 32, 10, 14s on the stock wheels. Wanted to go with something I could rotate. So I went with a 15 inch wheel since nowadays you get more options with tire sizes and 15 inch wheels instead of 14. So, um, and I wanted to go with something, I was going to stay with a 32, I really wanted to get a little bit bigger because these the carnivores actually measure a little small, they measure 30 and a half once they're mounted and everything like that with 12 to 15 pounds of air in it. So what I decided to do, I checked on weight, a friend of mine got the, the 370s, System 3s is what I was going to get, and they're a little heavy, the tire themselves weigh I think 47 pounds for a 32 because I think they measure pretty true in 32. So. Anyway, doing a lot of research, I decided to try a new tire, and I'll show you where they got them mounted. The new ones I went with are the Tusk from Rocky Mountain ATV, if you're familiar. These are the Tusk Megabyte. So it's their new kind of semi-aggressive, loose soil type tire. The tread is three quarters, I think, thick or tall, similar to a carnivore, looks pretty good. Their terabyte's been around for a long time. A lot of people have had it. It's more of a DOT tire. This is not a DOT. It's a radial, but it's not DOT. It's eight ply. And I actually went with a 34, 10, 15. So this is a 34 inch tall tire. And I like it, it looks sweet. I think that's what this machine needs. It, it looks, better with a taller tire it's a little you know it measures i've got it on there now with about 13 pounds of air 12 pounds of air in the front it measures about 33 and a half so it's a little low but not not bad i'm going to give them a try the price on them was really good compared to like carnivores and system threes and stuff like that i'll put a link in the description got the tusk you went the wheels the gun metal and black they look cool great great wheels and tires I think package so what I did is I'm going to do now is I measure I weighed both of them so this is a 30 34 10 15 um, I took it off and measured it or weighed it and I weighed the old 32 10 14 with the stock tire so and I'm gonna uh, you'll see that now I measure weighed both of them all right here is the stock x3 beadlock this is the rear tire with it's the 32 carnivores. These are old tires here. So I'm gonna put them on the scale and see what the wheel, these are 14 inch stock beadlock wheels from, they come on the machine. And this is a 32 inch carnivore, which is worn pretty bad. I mean, it's worn down. So I'm gonna give you a weight here. So I'm just barely keeping it from falling over. So that's 54.6. That is tire and wheel. So 54.6 is the 14 inch Can-Am wheel and the 32 inch Carnivore. That's worn quite a bit. So might've lost a hair weight, a little bit of weight from the tread. And now here is the new Tusk Megabyte with the Tusk Uinta, I believe it's called, the gunmetal 15 inch wheel. So this is a 34, 10, 15. So it's a 15 inch beadlock wheel from Tusk and the Tusk new Megabyte tires. Eight ply tire also, radial tires, not DOT approved because 
you know, it's an aggressive, kind of a more aggressive tread pattern. They look a lot like the carnivore. If you want to look here, they are similar. So tread design is pretty similar. I think these are three quarter lugs. Maybe the sides aren't quite as aggressive, but they're pretty cool. They have to look like X's and whatnot. This tire, um, kind of the new version of the terabyte, just more aggressive. So we'll see how much this weighs. Sixty-two point six. All right. So the new these are thirty-fours, guys. I mean, these things are huge compared to the thirty-twos. It's more of a round type deal, but. They're massive. I put it beside it and it's huge. You know, take it, they're not mounted, but um, I like them so far. Hopefully they, they do pretty well as far as trails. Um, it looks like a pretty good, pretty good tread for, you know, loose. We do mostly, you know, I'm basically all West Virginia. So some rocks, a little bit of mud here and there, mud holes mainly, but it's mostly like kind of loose dirt and, and stuff like that. So we'll see how they do. But the weight difference, those were 62 pounds. These were 56 pounds, so six pounds difference. I did measure the front ones. The front ones are like a pound less. So basically six pounds. So we're going up six total pounds, but got a 32, I mean a 34 inch tall tire on a 15 inch beadlock wheel. I think that's pretty good. I don't know if there's any other tire as far as weight wise in that size out there. Um, hopefully they'll hold up sidewalls hold up and stuff like that but these sidewalls unless you maybe get in between here i'm not sure how thick they are but these is like extra thicker you know material on the sidewall so we're going to give them a try all of our friends have um i think jj has k9 super grips paul just got some new system 3x uh, the 370s which is what i was going to get until these came out about a month or two ago kind of been eyeballing these and got a really good deal on them through Mountain Made Off-Road. Um, highly recommend them. I'm sure they drop ship from Tusk, and I think they have, a, or from Rocky Mountain ATV. There's a warehouse in Kentucky, so that's where they came from. I ordered these Tuesday night. They were here Friday morning. So just about anywhere I think you can get them in two days. And then Mountain Made sent the uh, lug nuts and everything. You do have to get new lug nuts because the factory lug nuts will not work in the holes. But there's a good deal on these man and i uh i will put a link in the description i've got the front ones mounted up I haven't really settled the suspension but i think it looks pretty sweet looks like that's what's supposed to be on this machine um and once i lower it and kind of ride it i'll give you another picture but it i think it looks pretty sweet all right guys this is what it looks like all mounted up 34, 10, 15 Tusk megabytes for a Rocky Mountain ATV and the 15 inch Tusk Uinta wheels. They make them in the gunmetal and black, milled in black, and then they make a black and no, no, I'm sorry, black and milled, and then they make a matte black. I wanted to get the, the gunmetal looks, kind of matches the gray Can-Am stickers, so decided to go that, because the milled in black was actually out of stock, so it was kind of in a hurry, so. Anyway, they measure about 33 and a half. As you can tell from the, the weights that I weighed them, six pounds, that's the only difference. It went up to a 34 tall and 15 inch wheel and only gained six pounds per tire. So I've driven it a little bit around the house. I can't tell any difference in takeoff from the clutches or anything. We're going riding next weekend, hopefully weather permitting. So I'll do a little review after the first weekend and let you guys know how I, uh, how I like the new Tusk Megabyte tires.